The loving thing to do is to have no moral standard whatsoever. Have no biblical standard whatsoever. Here she is smoking uh, a blunt that is shaped like a cross. That's the Christian version of the middle finger, if you were wondering. People like Lauren Daigle as well. When she answered the question on LGBTQ+, Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. You know, the saddest part about this video isn't necessarily the content that I'm about to show you. Really, the saddest part about this video is that what I'm about to show you isn't surprising. It, it's not a surprise anymore. First, take a look at this with me real quick. This is 1 Timothy chapter 4. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. Now, what is this talking about here? Notice a few things real quick. This is talking about those who have claimed to be believers, those who claim to be a part of the faith. This isn't talking about the world. This isn't talking about those who deny Christ. And it says here that they will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Now you can argue, were they ever really saved at all? I don't think that they were. And that's why we need to be aware. We need to have discernment, wisdom, and the ability to understand the Word of God so that we can recognize those who are trying to deceive the flock. And that's where the story comes in. Semler tout success of single faith that's the name of the song as the lgb artist charts in christian music during pide month so during june semler who is an lgb christian artist charted and i'm going to show you number one on the christian charts now, this isn't an artist that Christians have been following, and then all of a sudden she took a left turn and went, oh, I'm LGB. No, that's not what this is at all. And I'm going to show you some very disturbing things in this video, along with some other bands that are complicit with Semler and actually encouraging Semler. Very uh, big name Christian bands. Some of them at least used to be, but I guess that's debatable, and you'll let me know in the comments that they never were Christian bands. They used to claim to be Christians, <laughs> and you're going to see who they are in just a minute. Grace Baldred, a singer and songwriter who goes by the stage name Semler, took to Twitter on Thursday to celebrate the success of their single, Faith, which briefly charted as number one on the iTunes store's Christian category. In particular, she celebrated that an LGB artist was charting in a Christian category during LGB month. I really can't believe it, Semler tweeted. We got an LGB artist to chart number one in Christian music during Pied Month. You did that. Faith forever. Thank you, thank you. Now here's Grace Baldred. She is the LGB artist, and she is non-conforming in her biology, I, whatever, I, I, whatever they call it now. I want you to look at this. This is Faith, the number one charting song. Chris Tomlin, Brandon Lake, CeCe Winans, Lauren Daigle. Oh my goodness. This is why it's not surprising so much. When you see, this is who she's charting along. But the saddest part about all this is that this isn't even surprising anymore because we have completely lost all respect for what worship really is what worshiping God truly is. And instead, we've just given in to this go-along, to-get-along type mindset. And we've accepted that the world has said, you must conform to certain standards, otherwise be labeled a bigot, be hated, be persecuted. And Christians have said, well, we don't want that, so we'll compromise and we'll still be Christians, but we'll be accepted as well. That way, things are smooth. As Christians, we're not allowed to you know, stand up for our faith because that would be rude. That's not what Jesus did. Literally, people say that's not what Jesus did. It's insanity. And that's why this isn't surprising to see the Christian charts charting all these artists that, one, have insane theological issues, doctrinal issues, but and then you have a straight-up LGB artist 
charting number one on the Christian charts. Now here's another look at Grace Baldridge here. She is smoking uh, a blunt that is shaped like a cross. So it's it's a Christian, it's a Christian uh, blunt. And here's Grace Baldridge as well. That's the Christian version of the middle finger, if you were wondering. Now you can scroll through her Instagram page and see all kinds of extremely just worldly things. There is zero evidence of any type of spiritual renewal within this person, yet they are so desperately wanting to infiltrate Christian music by saying Christianity is tolerance. Now, before I show you some other artists that have encouraged Simler in her whatever this is, this is the, <laughs> this is the artwork for her song. Her smoking, uh, it probably either a blunt or a cigarette, something, I don't know. And this, the, the lyrics of this song are all about how her religion, how Christianity turned against her for standing on the truth of God's word. They, they, they aren't giving in to Satan and evil in order to accept her. Instead, we are saying that we love you enough to tell you the truth. And that is a sign of being against someone today, telling them the truth, unfortunately. And she says that God was flipping tables in order to make the point that we should accept LGBT people. And I am in no way saying that we shouldn't love them, that we shouldn't encourage them to get to know Christ in a biblical way, to continue to tell them the truth. But what I am saying is that we cannot be complicit in the sin, no matter what it is. It's not just about LGB, it's about any sinner that is currently in a habitual sin, unrepentantly so. We should have the heart to tell them the truth because it is their very eternity that depends on that truth. And I wanna show you another song here. This is another song called You're Not My Friend. This is another recent song by Semler. And, well, I can't actually read the lyrics because every other word is the F word. But if you just glance at these lyrics, um, just absolutely making a mockery of Christ and saying the F word uh, and the S word and every word you can think of throughout this song, this is what is being pushed as Christian music. And you have to give into it. I mean, why not? It's the loving thing to do. The loving thing to do is to have no moral standard whatsoever. Have no biblical standard whatsoever. Now I wanna show you one of the artists that is encouraging Semler and actually brought her on tour, Reliant K. Now Reliant K has had a rocky past. They started out as a Christian kind of punk rock band, I guess. And then they kind of flowed out of that because they really just wanted the success after all. And then they kind of came back after a little bit and said, well, no, we, we are Christian. And then they go on and say, well, it's similar. Come on tour with us. No shame in putting evil front and center uh, in, in, at their concerts. And she actually went on tour with Reliant K. A love song she'd know are just from me. Now this is similar actually opening for Reliant K, as you can see back here. I don't know if you can see that. It says Reliant K in the background. This is a concert that Reliant K was putting on and they had similar open for them. And then back in 2021, similar actually put out a bunch of videos trying to get Switchfoot's attention. And she went to the, one of their concerts and shouted out to John Foreman when he was on stage and he responded to her on stage and then he put out a video uh, responding to Semler and this is what John Foreman had to say about Semler. Hey Grace, how you doing? So honored that you came to our show last night. I saw your story, wanted to respond tell you, yes, I support your rights and freedoms. I want you to feel loved and supported. I want you to feel treasured, valued, seen. I want all love and joy and beauty and truth for you. Love and embrace have always been central to our story and our song. We need our differences. I'm so glad. So glad that you were there last night. In fact, it breaks my heart to think that you would not be accepted let me correct that. You and your journey and your story are welcome at a Switchfoot show. I said something like this last night, and I truly meant it. If 
you look different than me, if you vote different than me, if you believe different than me, if you love different than me, you are beloved, you are my sister, you are my brother, I need you like you need me, like I need you like you need me. Our music has always been, for anyone who's open-minded enough to jump into the dialogue, agnostic, atheist, consumerist, Jewish, Muslim, doubters, believers, haters, lovers, LGBTQ+, and everyone else who's brave enough to look for meaning and, and truly jump into that. No one else is an expert on someone else's experience, and I can't pretend to know your pain. Uh, I can only know my own. I know what it's like to feel like you don't fit in. Even the song, Where I Belong, is referencing a longing for a belonging that I've never felt here on the planet. And I don't know your pain, but I know what it's like to wrestle with depression and anxiety. I know what it's like to feel voiceless in a hypocritical culture that feels deeply flawed. I know what that feels like. And I'm sure you've received all sorts of pain and hardship along the way. I'm so sorry. May these wounds heal. May you transcend them. That these wounds would not define you, but that you would define them. May you find peace and truth and love on your journey. Keep writing songs. Keep creating beauty. Keep reaching out. Keep being honest. Keep chasing beauty and truth and light and love. Keep choosing to see the good in people even the folks who might be different than you. With all love and respect, I hope to see you around sometime. Now you hear a response like that and so many people are saying he didn't endorse LGBT. He didn't endorse Semler. He, he was just showing love. But did you hear anything about the gospel or repentance of sin? No, nothing. And you've seen Switchfoot for many years now completely fade into the abyss. And all they do is uh, uh, is tour with non-Christian artists, and there's zero witness in anything that they do anymore. Zero. And, and, and I mean zero witness whatsoever for Christ or the truth. And in fact, this response shows such a lack of respect. And this is all about tolerance and acceptance and keeping the peace. This is all about giving into the world so that there's no backlash. It'll hurt ticket sales. It'll hurt our standing. Less bands will want to tour with us. Switchfoot can't have that. They're on top of the world right now. They're very popular. And they don't want to lose that. And instead, they will say, find peace and find truth. We hope you find truth. Continue to seek your peace and your truth and all these mumbled, jumbled words with zero gospel message, zero truth of God's word in them, yet we're just supposed to take it as he wasn't compromising. He was, he was just saying what Jesus would have said, which Jesus would have just not said anything about himself or about true repentance or faith or turning from your sin and not being a slave to sin and not being a slave to the world and instead follow me. Jesus wouldn't have said any of that, right? So you just see time and time again, artists compromising, biblically illiterate, and, and, and they're just willing to go along to get along. And they're willing to literally sacrifice their own faith in order to stay in good graces with the world. And you can see this from people like Lauren Daigle as well. When she answered the question on LGB, uh, when she was asked on the radio, th look at what she said. Do you feel that homosexuality is a sin? You know, I, I can't honestly answer on that in the sense of I have too many people that I love that they are homosexual. Um, I don't know. I actually had a conversation with someone last night about it, and I was like, I can't say one way or the other. I, I'm i not God. So when yeah. people when people ask questions like that, that's what my go-to is. Like, I just say read the Bible and find out for yourself. Because And when you find out, let me know. You know, it's no surprise to see these artists completely compromise their morality, their their faith, their walk with 
Christ, their Christianity, because they want to stay in good graces. They want to go along to get along. The loving thing to do is to be tolerant of sin. And people are believing it. Christians are believing it. The church is believing it. The church has toned the message of the gospel down so far that instead they must preach a message that is accepting, that will fill the seats, that will leave people feeling better than when they came in based off of human wisdom, human knowledge, human tactics, and not the message of the gospel. Even though what people are truly seeking, sinners are truly seeking the truth a way to be set free from being a slave to sin. Please stay in the Word of God. Be in God's Word every day to show yourself approved, to strengthen your faith, to strengthen your walk with the Lord so that you can represent the gospel well, so that you can be a light in a world that has gone completely dark. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, being a part of this community, I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button as well, you know, when you like this video to get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread this message. And also check out some of our links in the description below to see the Daily Grace Company and some of the incredible Bible study resources that they have. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.